Google is pretty straightforward to use. You can type just about anything into the search bar and expect useful results. However, you can take control of how Google conducts its searches to increase the chances you'll find what you're looking for in fewer steps and with better accuracy. Master these Google search tricks and you'll save yourself a heap of time and frustration in the future. Try using double quotes for exact text matches. When you type a phrase into Google, the search engine will look for many permutations of those words, trying to give you the most relevant results. However, if you know the exact text you're looking for, such as a book title, you can force Google only to show the results that match a text string perfectly. To do this, put your search term within double quotation marks. You can search specific sites with a site modifier. Some websites don't have their own search function, or it's just not a very good one. Luckily, you can effortlessly search any website using Google's own robust algorithm by typing site colon, followed by the URL of the page you want to search, and then entering your search term. Just keep in mind that Google can't search the parts of a website that need authorization. In other words, anything that's behind a username and a password. You can also tell Google to list related sites. If you want to see which sites Google thinks are related to one specific site, you can simply type related colon followed by the website URL. This is a great way to discover competing sites that offer the same products and services as your usual choices. Another great trick is to use the asterisk in quoted text for variable words. If there's a word in your quoted search phrase that could have multiple possible answers or you don't know what it should be, you can use an asterisk as a placeholder. This is known as a wildcard operator, such as the joker in a card game that can stand in for any other card to complete a set. For example, if you only remember part of a book title, you could Google war and asterisk and get back war and peace. Google has a 32 word limit, which can sometimes be a problem when finding an exact match for a long string. So this is also a good trick because Google does not count wildcards towards this limit. So you can replace common words such as and and the to pack more words into your search query. You can also use Google to see a cached version of a page. If a web page is currently down, but you still need information from it, you can ask Google for a cached version of the site generated from its own web indexing operation. The site won't work and you can't log into anything, but you can still see the information on the public facing side of the website. To do this, search for the site and then select the three vertical dots. Then select cached and you'll see a previously saved version of the website. These are some really useful Google search tricks, but there are 15 more waiting for you in the article linked in the description below. See you next time.